Christmas is one of the busiest days for house fires, and it doesn't matter how much snow is on the ground. Phil Lindemann with Crystal 93 News. First, Loveland Ski Area has come a long way from a tow rope run by a Model T engine. We've got 1,800 acres of terrain, 10 lifts, and 93 trails. So we've come quite a long way. You know, the mountain itself hasn't changed a whole lot. We've just made accessing some of the fun terrain a lot easier for guests. That was Loveland's John Sellers. Loveland is turning 80 years old this season, making it the second oldest ski area in the state behind Howison Hill outside of Steamboat Springs. That first tow rope at Loveland started spinning in 19. 1936, and by 1937, the Continental Divide's most iconic ski area had upgraded to the Ford engine and a few hundred visitors per season. And what a difference 80 years makes. Today, Loveland draws tens of thousands of skiers every year, including a huge following on the front range, but Sellers says the vibe has hardly changed since that very first tow rope. There's definitely a distinction between a ski area and a ski resort, and we're very, very proud to be a ski area. Sellers also says Loveland doesn't have any plans of playing keep up with neighbors like Breckenridge or Copper. It starts with $75 adult lift tickets in the middle of the season. That's less than half the cost of a single day ticket at Breck. Like I mentioned, we're proud to be a ski area. We will continue to operate as such. We're not going to be putting in any lodging or hotels at the base area. We're not putting in any parking garages or things like that. But what really makes Loveland shine? Sellers says it's the people, from longtime manager and legend Otto Werlin to generations of skiers who learned right there on the slopes. We're so honored to be part of so many Colorado family ski history. We hear so many stories from guests that their parents learned to ski here and then they taught them to ski here and now they're teaching their kids to ski here. And Loveland got about five inches of snow during the day today. The Loveland Terrain Park opens on Saturday and with more snow, Sellers says three to four additional trails could open for the holiday. Chestnuts should be the only thing roasting over an open fire this holiday. But between dead trees wrapped in lights and hours spent cooking in the kitchen, the holidays are prime time for fire danger. One in four Christmas tree fires are caused by faulty wiring, and nearly four times as many people die in fires at the holidays than any other time of the year. Keep your tree watered. If you've got a Christmas tree, turn off the light when you go to sleep at night. Never leave candles unattended. Don't put candles in your trees. That was Steve Lipscher with Lake Dillon Fire Rescue. He says the biggest culprits of fire hazard at the holidays are dry Christmas trees, unattended candles, and dirty chimneys. Another concern? Space heaters. We want to make sure that you have at least three feet on all sides of the space heater as we're getting into colder weather. That's real important and nothing combustible near a space heater. Kitchen fires can happen anytime, but Lipscher says the odds of catastrophe are higher during the holidays. Keep baking soda handy to put out grease fires and never try to use water. It explodes. Not, not just makes it spread. There's like, it will actually create a fireball. For more fire safety tips, plus a video showing just how fast a dry Christmas tree goes up in flames, see the Crystal 93 Facebook page. That's Crystal with a K. In snowboarding news, a speedy recovery to Breck's own Eric Ouellette. The pro slopestyle snowboarder broke his collarbone at Dew Tour last week and just had surgery to fix it. A post on his Instagram says he got a plate and six pens. He'll be back on a board by January. In sports, the Colorado Avalanche play the Los Angeles Kings tonight in L.A. Game time is 8.30. The Nuggets have the night off. And then this weekend, the Breckenridge Vipers semi-pro hockey team plays tomorrow, Friday, at home against the Boulder Bison. Game time is 7.30 at Stephen C. West Ice Arena in Breckenridge. Phil Lindemann with Crystal, 93 News.